Okay, so I have another sheet in haul. Actually, I got three, but we're gonna see how many I do videos for. Okay, so this this one um, had a specific purpose, which we'll kind of get to, but this is a sexy button front denim bodysuit and an 18. It was $16.21. And as you can see, it hooks all the way down to here. Um, it's kind of a little big for me. I mean, it's adjustable though. Let me not. I want you. Okay, maybe it fit. I'm, I'm lying. I can um, adjust it. Okay, so let me tell you what I don't like about it. Um, I don't like how the panty on it is very thong-ish. It's not a thong, but it's thong-ish. I don't like that. I like a, you know, cover me up. Um, but otherwise, I mean, this is, I don't know what I would wear with it, uh, but the quality is good. Um, as usual with the denim, the buttons look a little cheap. But these are honestly, judging from the picture, this is what I expect the buttons to look like. I'm not dissatisfied with it in any way. I think it fits pretty well. Um, and it's adjustable. And yeah, I like it. So, um, also, with this particular um, haul, I was looking for stuff to wear to the... Um, to this um art installation and the stuff i ordered some of it was for it like these glasses or not glasses i was gonna wear these um they actually look kind of crazy they look crazy on the girls <laughs> let me see what they call it though okay so these are the wrong uh, actually they didn't have it on a person um, these are the rhinestone tassel glasses. They were six dollars in silver. Um, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really sure where these would ever get play at again. Um, since they didn't come on time for that event, I don't know. So this might have been something that I just wasted my money on because I don't believe I can return sunglasses or glasses. That is to Shein. But anyway. Um, they're about what I expected. I didn't expect them to be so rhinestone-y, even though it said it was rhinestones. I didn't expect it to be like that. I th was expecting more like a rhinestone and like chain situation. So that's those. Also, I brought myself um a couple options when it came to the glasses. So, oh my God, Martina gonna be like, what the hell? Anyway, these were another pair that I bought. Thinking I might wear it to this um, art thing. These are called the Novelty Frame Fashion Glasses. These were $2.84. Realistically, I have no idea where I wear these. And be serious. I mean, it's given alien. And I'm kind of scared. But maybe I'll wear them in Vegas. Some of my friends with this on me. Did y'all, is they on this on me? I hope not. Anyway. Um, and then I have another pair. I have actually two more pairs of glasses that I bought. These are some yellow glasses. I don't have any yellow glasses. Um, and these got a little flare to them as well. Now, I like these, even if they are a little funky i do like them um they're the flower decor geometric frame fashion glasses they're three dollars um these is cute i ain't mad at them they're also weird but hey and all of the um all of these well most of the fact unless they're too big the shein um glasses come in plastic and they also come in like a little case that snaps. So that's actually really nice. Nice, nice, nice. 
Okay, my last pair of glasses before I move on. Don't ask what made me buy this. These, I don't know when I will wear these. I feel like I thought these was, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you just do things and you don't really know why you did them. So anyway, these are the flat top shield goggle fashion glasses. They were $2.84. I'm not really sure at what point one would wear these when I would wear them and it look appropriate, makes sense. But I got them. I got them. And I, don't, I can't return them, so anyway, um, don't judge me. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> okay, so the next item is a tropical print ruche push-up bikini swimsuit with kimono, and it was $16.21. Okay, let me tell you, let me tell you, I absolutely love this outfit and i don't even this ain't even my color palette green and yellow is probably when you talk about colors they might be my they've always been my least favorite um i am experimenting with yellow more now but they've been my least favorite definitely green is still my least favorite um but this this is cute this little kimono now i can't keep it though let me tell you the bra is ill-fitted. The top is ill-fitted. You can adjust it. It's adjustable. I tried that. That didn't work. Um, it's just an ill-fitting um, top. It's like, and it's an 18, so it's not like it's, um, I mean, I guess the top could be too big, but even then, it just seemed like it's an ill-fitted top. So what I would do is maybe order it in a smaller size just to confirm that it's just not, it's not, it's the top and not the sizing, but it's ill-fitted. That's all I can say. Like the, um, the cup, like the, what do you call it? Thing, the push-up part of the cup, it don't lay down. So it puckers up and it's just a bad fit. And for, well, whatever I spend, but for the $16, I need to fit the fit right. But anyway, other than that, I really do like this. I'm mad. This would have been my suit and the the, uh, the little penny part. It come up high, cover up your, uh, the pooch and everything. It's a nice little outfit, a nice little swim set. Anyway, um... Yeah, it's really sad. Anyway, next, next item is a Shein Sexy Solid Crop Tee and Biker Short for $12.97. Um, from the picture, I did not think the material was going to be this type of material. I thought it was going to be more like a um, cotton blend, not this like stretchy um, stuff. Um, so, honestly, I hate it. First of all, it's green. Um, so, but I hate it. I hate the material and I just wanted to show it just so you know that the material is not, um, like a cotton blend. Uh, the material, let me see. And this is my fault. I should have read it. The, the description. Then I would have known what it was made out of. It's polyester but they say it's slight stretch no it's all the stretch um but yeah wouldn't recommend it um uh, one out of five i mean i just and then i'll just take the way it fits all right so this next item is a high stretch zip up textured sport set and it's fifteen dollars and forty cents Okay, this, um, okay, so it's very stretchy. Um, I'm pretty sure I got a, um, can I get a large? I got an 18. 
Um, and they're long enough. The leggings are long enough. This is pretty cute. If you like this color pattern. I think they have different options, but, um, you know, it looks cute from the back. You know, it's got the little design or whatever. I don't think it's, it might be a little tiny bit thin, so you need to wear black underwear, but not a lot. And then the zipper, you know, this is kind of cute. I like the little zipper action. Um, I did try to zip it like uh, half, halfway. Mm -mm, that thing come right on down. So you do gotta zip it up. Um, but this is kind of cute. Uh, now, I would not work out on this. I don't work out on stuff like this. This would definitely be athleisure. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Definitely athleisure. I went through a stage where I like stuff like this. I still like it, but I just don't really buy it. But, yeah, I went through a stage where little stuff like this, I loved it. I still like it. But, you know. Um. But, yes, athleisure. Popping out to the grocery store. Um, I don't know, going to the mall or whatever. Definitely wouldn't work out in this though, not at all. But uh, quality is nice and I give it a four out of five. And the only reason I gave it a four out of five is if it was just a little bit thicker, you wouldn't be able to tell that my underwear are right. Other than that, if you like it, get it. Okay, um, so the first item is a graffiti print drop shoulder drawstring hoodie in a six for $8.11. And then the second item is a Shein zip front wide waistband coated pants, 18 in purple. Okay, so let's talk about the pants first. These pants have been stalking me on my Instagram and Facebook. Um, probably because the algorithm knows I like purple. Um, but I will say they do not look the way I thought they would. And they're also too big. As you can see, it's way too much room in the crotch. So either one, I need a smaller size or this isn't the cut for my body type. Um, and also, I don't love the zipper situation, the way it just pops like it do. So anyway, these pants are not it for me. Um, they're not as, they're definitely a coated pants. So again, this is another one of those situations where what it says and what it look like in the picture don't match. But what it says is what it actually is. Like, this does look like a coated pan. It does not look like the kind of leather, sh almost a little shine to it that it looks like in the picture. So, anyway, these are going back. Um, they're just not what I thought they were. But I will say that the length is good, which is usually a problem for me because I have longer legs. But the length is just fine. Um, so, this shirt. This shirt is actually... Um, bigger than I thought it would be. I got a six. It's still kind of big, but it's kind of supposed to be an off-shoulder situation. It's got a little hood. I wish it was more like a sweatshirt material, um, but it's cute. I bought it thinking I was going to go to this um, party. Um, a friend of mine was having a birthday party with a freak nick theme, and while I wasn't going to go full freak nick, I was going to go 90s. So I was like, oh, this is a cute little top to wear to a 90s situation. Um, but I realized, one, I didn't know how much the party would cost. And the cost to get in was $30. And it's on a Saturday night. So it's going to be a bunch of dudes in there with tattoos, drinking Casamigos, and a bunch of girls with lace fronts and lashes. And that's just not my scene, so... Well, I love him and wish him a happy birthday. I'm not going. I'm, I, yeah, I just can't see paying that much to go to something that I know is not my thing. So, anyway, uh, I can't wait to see the pictures from it though, because I know they're gonna be crazy in there with the outfits. 
anyhow um this shirt i'm debating whether or not i'm gonna keep it because i can definitely use it for another something i'm sure and really i gotta look and see what it says what the words are on it because i don't hate this i like color so anyway next item okay the next item is a shein bag solid skinny pleather hands gray and an 18. all right so these pants i thought i was gonna wear to the um to the uh art show i was gonna wear these pants i had a a semi vision um but it didn't come in time i don't even know if it was gonna work anyway they're a little crotchety for me even if i pull them up so i probably need a smaller size the eights and ten is not for me um but they're a solid legging they're not thin um the quality is nice um uh, and yeah i like them um, actually, I probably will reorder them in a smaller size. I don't know when I will be wearing these, though. It's getting out of this world. Anyway, um, then this I ordered in this um, order. This was like a, this is supposed to be a waist bag, a clear one. But it's really just a Ziploc bag that they attach these to. So this is very cheap um very crappy kind of or maybe maybe it's supposed to be waterproof and that's why it's like this um let me see oh my bad it is it's a clear waterproof foam fanny pack fanny bag it's a, it was a dollar 63 cents i thought it was just a fanny bag but it's a waterproof one now my question is is it is it really waterproof is all of this gonna keep whatever's in here dry anyway i thought it was just a clear fanny bag fanny pack that means i just didn't read it right um so i'm not keeping this yeah anyway next item okay this next item is a um she and sexy highways Pleather, straight leg, short, and an 18 in silver. Okay, so these, again, I bought thinking I might wear them to the um, art show with like a whole, because I was trying to go futuristic, because the thing was kind of avant-garde, I don't know, and I was trying to match a purse. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um... But it was really wasn't warm enough to wear shorts when this event took place. So this was never going to work. Um, but I was just trying to find something silver. So what I'll say about these is they look like plastic. They don't give a leather look at all. And um, I don't like them. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> next. <laughs> Okay, so the next item is an all-over print cutout one-piece swimsuit in a size 18. It was $8.11. All right, so about this swimsuit. Um, let's see. I think it's a little big, um, but I don't think I really have a choice. I don't think I could go quote-unquote smaller with it but i do have quite a bit of space here and quite a bit of space around my back um area um but you know i don't dislike this swimsuit it's kind of it's kind of cute in a weird way this is a bit weird this little cutout part um i feel like i got pretty good coverage i don't feel like i'm gonna fall out um but but size wise it's it's a not the best fit in areas but i could definitely get away with this um this is definitely a contender it might go to vegas 
Oh, and it covers the, you know, not so attractive part of the stomach, which we do love that. All right, next swimsuit. Okay, the next item is a color block high neck bikini swimsuit in a size 18. All right, so let's talk about one thing. I did buy this based on the picture. I just read it. These are not bikini bottoms. So, anyway. Um, let's see. What I would say is they're not very good as peers at this company putting in um, cups for women and where they're supposed to fall and how they're supposed to fit. So, that makes the top of the, the top uh, questionable when you don't have that down. Um, also, I don't, I don't know if this was a go down to my wrist or if it's just short. This might be short. I don't know. Anyway, this looks kind of young. Like this is, um, too little for me. Um, what I will say about this is that I love the coverage on the bottom. Love it. Um, this is definitely not a Vegas swimsuit though. Like I'm going to Vegas to lay out, get some sun so I could be even, get a little tan. Um, and this ain't no tan and swimsuit. This look like you actually, I don't know what you doing in this, but you ain't tanning in this. So anyway, I don't hate this swimsuit, but it's not the vibe at all. And uh, the top don't fit right. Like the the cup is here. It's just in weird places. It's just like that other swimsuit. So I'm thinking it's something the company don't do well. Anyway, next item. All right, this next item is a Shein sexy ripped crop tee and tie waist ruched split hem. Leggings in black at 18 and was $19.20. First of all, the picture is better than what it is in person. It's doing a lot. The pants is ruched and got a split up them. The shirt, I don't dislike the shirt now. The shirt is kind of like I like this rip part, but um. The material, it's cheap. Now, well, I will say it's not thin or anything. It's just not what I thought it was. I thought it was a different material. Um, I already have a set made out of material from Shein. Like, it's a skirt with, like, a um, hoodie um, top situation, a little cropped. And for $8, yeah. This is 19 To me, that's too much. I'm sure they sell the same situation, not cut up. It's probably for cheaper. You could cut it yourself. Let me see. Ah, I have to say. No, they they use the serger on the, on the seams. It's put together well in that regard. All the seams are surged. Um, but yeah, this just ain't me. We're not keeping this. We're, but I don't dislike the style. So it's kind of, it's. The style of it's cool, but nah, next. Okay, um, the next items from this particular haul are some items that you weren't trying on. So one thing was it was a five piece minimalist nose ring. Um, I think what I got is not. It's for somebody that's actually got a hole in it. No in their nose i should have checked to make sure so i figured out a way to put it on but it's not it's it's for somebody that's got a hole in their nose i'm assuming or some bullshit one or the other also i got a um what do you call this uh they call it a one piece electric cleansing brush with five piece brush head it was three dollars and 25 cents i have not tried it as you can see it's still in the package but these generally cost more um, and don't last. So I don't mind 
a little three dollar one just to see how it works if it works um i also got my brothers this one piece multi-functional tie storage rack it was five dollars and 68 cents hopefully he likes it if he sees a value in it i'll keep it this is a little plastic hanger for your top ties basically because honestly i don't know what he does one now um also i got this for my belts i was hoping i didn't get the blue one but i did i wanted a black one um but it's a multi-function belt hanger it's a dollar and 63 cents i haven't used it yet but right now my belts are just in a box from me moving so i want to try that out also i got this six piece foot skincare tool set um in black and it's got a bunch of pieces let me see it's six pieces it's got all the major players when you actually trying to um do your toes uh so anyway i got this one for myself and one for my friend i thought that was a nice gift um i also purchased some 20 piece makeup brush set I'm going to try to put all the links for these um, in the bio. It's $2.44. I haven't tried them yet. Um, but I figured I should try some of the other houseware things that they sell. And just some of the other items besides the clothes. Just to see what the situation is. Um, and this, this is for plants, I think. What is this? Oh, this is a automatic watering device. I'm going to try this on my plants because I do have some plants and I'm not the best plant mom. So I'm going to try this. And if this works, I'll be purchasing purchasing more of these. These were 82. This was 82 cents. So I'll just be getting more. Um, And lastly, actually not lastly, but this is supposed to be um, a color seasoning rack. So it's supposed to be a rack that you can kind of put up on the door of your cabinet. I don't know, this might be too bright. Um, and you're supposed to be able to sit your um, seasonings in it. I figured I would try it. If it works out, then I'll probably get more. Um, just because I have a lot of seasonings and it's because they're on a shelf one behind the other visually i don't know where they are so i always have to go through a bunch to get to what i need so i thought this might be um a good ad um and lastly um uh, a friend of mine let me borrow some boob tape for my all-star weekend um outfit that i wore to the comedy show uh, if i remember i'll put a card a card uh or will it be this side for you to look at it but anyway it was a top and you couldn't wear a bra with it so she gave me some um some tape and so i bought some from uh Shein, and theirs is called they call it the plus nipple cover so they have nipple covers and one roll of boob tape and i obviously i got it in brown because uh duh i'm brown um, and it was four dollars and eighty seven cents. So I don't know the quality of these vary from brand to brand. So if I find that that one is not great quality, then I will honestly just order the one my friend got from Amazon. So anyway, um, that concludes this particular haul. As you can see, I don't really got nothing for Vegas out of that. Maybe a pair of sunglasses. Uh, so, I got probably two more hauls of stuff. Um, pray for me, y'all. I, I don't got no swimsuit. All right. Till next time, like, comment, and subscribe.